Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please do hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And personal reading links are below in the description box. You can also follow me on Facebook. The link is down there below as well. I'm most active on there. All right, Virgo. So, okay, we have some cards flying out. We're going to take a look at love and see who's coming towards you in the month of January. Um, Let me see here. Um, yeah, I just meant to say, please be mindful that some of the messages may or may not resonate. So as always, take what fits, leave the rest. Um, there may be a Pisces coming towards you in January. Um, let's see. This person, you might have been separated from them for a while. Um, and it could be a return, this person coming back into your life in January. Also, Virgo, um, another message here is somebody is moving on from a past relationship and uh, or has moved on um, or withdrew from a, a former relationship is looking for that ace of cups a new beginning a new potential love start um, with you so I feel either it's with you in that they know you or um, they're coming in your direction okay ready for love and let me see what else with about this person. Okay, for some of you, could also be a fire sign. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, this person showing up <laughs> very feisty, confident, self-assured. Okay, they could be on the cusp of Pisces and Aries also. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Yeah, okay. Um, this person's a very good communicator. They don't have any, there's no uh, deception with this person. I feel like... Um, you know, whether you know this person, there's truth and clarity coming from them, okay? And I feel like someone here is going to be initiating a conversation with you um, because the Ace of Swords is always a card about initiation. Um, and it's also about talking things out or um, kind of like resolving issues and conflicts in order to have like a victorious outcome. Okay, so there's definitely someone coming towards you, whether it's in a fire sign, they could have their fire sign could be their sun, moon, rising or Venus, or it's a Pisces, same situation, but there's definitely clarity um, in communication, a new beginning in communication happening here. Okay, so you do have the death card. Okay, so um, there could be a Scorpio also in the situation involved, but I feel like someone is coming to clear the air um, about something that is over, okay, or something that has ended. New communication. Let me see. How will you meet or connect with this person in January? Okay. You could meet them at some type of a show connect with them at some type of a show like the magician is always you know someone who's standing in a podium performing some magic tricks okay so it could be some type of an entertainment venue you meet them at in january uh, it could be something as simple as a movie theater or a concert or some kind of a performance or you see them somewhere and you connect with this person um doesn't also have to be entertainment. It could be somebody who um, works in holistic or the magical realms or someone who's in the tarot community. You could connect with them. It could also be somebody who um, is giving talks. They do talks or they're a speaker, a public speaker as well. So you could connect with this person at some kind of an event or something to do with an event. Okay, so five of swords. And the king of wands wow okay so i feel like this person um speaks to men about um <laughs> this is weird they either speak to men or they speak about men um in regards to that five of swords energy maybe they talk about bullying or harassment or they talk about violence or abusive relationships i feel like something like that is connected to this person um yeah <laughs> it's interesting it's like um well, let me see what else they're giving me here. Yeah, that, okay, that's what they're saying. They either talk about that, about men who are like that, or they talk to men about women who are like that. You know, they just speak on that is what I feel. That That's like the most, the strongest thing. And I know that's not going to happen for all of you. Um, 
but as far as like asking where you will meet them there's definitely some type of a conversation okay um now let me get into a little more about this person see what else spirit wants you to know about this person okay this person has a lot of anxiety they've healed it they've overcome some type of anxiety disorder um definitely like the public eye i feel like this person um they get stage fright they get cold feet this is a person that has cold feet generally you know um but with that's like before they come out into the open they might have maybe they're shy or they might have something going on with them where um there might be a little bit of like nervous like nervousness um going up before people but this star makes me feel like this person is definitely in a healing position of some sort they're all about renewal they bring hope they bring clarity okay um for some of you if this is somebody coming back into your life that you had connected with before where there was like a temporary uh, separation yeah virgo i do feel like there's something different about this person now especially with that star and the magician like i feel like this person has manifested healing to some degree in their life and they want to tell you about it um they've put put to death all um some past behaviors anxieties or maybe um some control issues okay because the eight of cups is always something like where we retreat and we take that journey you know that spiritual journey that healing journey i feel like for those of you who have this past pisces or person returning whatever sign they might be there is an energy of um this person's been on some kind of healing journey and they want to tell you about it or they're going to come out into the open and start speaking on this okay that's interesting okay four of pentacles so this person's very selective with who they share their uh, energy with they're very selective with who they trust um I feel like for some of you, if this is a past person, there is an energy of like um, this person always held out hope that you and they could, you know, heal the relationship or fix a relationship between the two of you. Um, I'm also picking up Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini energy as well libra here okay yeah i feel like this person seeks balance and fairness and the whole truth and nothing but the truth okay um they're also giving me um this person had debts that they needed to pay and they're paying them now they've been saving their money to pay off some debts that they've had um there might have been a situation um, in a relationship prior where there was someone who um, wasn't sharing the wealth, quote unquote, or they didn't have, um, they felt less of a person because they didn't have money coming in. I'm hearing that as well. Okay, wow. There's definitely a new, look, you have an Ace of Swords and an Ace of Cups. So there's definitely a new beginning happening here and you know what virgo the aces are as far as timelines go they're always like immediate it's like an immediate thing so i feel like this is something that's going to happen pretty darn quickly this new love start so it could even be like in a couple of days some of you it might have already happened um it's going to be pretty fast it could be within a week there might be um for some of you something new beginning like pretty fast you know yesterday you had that someone's breaking no contact so this could be the um the the next day kind of energy <laughs> you know um yeah i feel like somebody was didn't have what it took to be reciprocal in their relationships or in a relationship with you i feel like um they didn't feel like they had enough to give or they didn't feel like they had enough to offer or they isolated themselves or they restricted themselves or were restricted okay um they weren't capable of making do on payments that were owed i feel like there's definitely some kind of shift um i think i said yesterday somebody went to the uh the school of growth and got their um their uh 
grown woman, grown man certificate, diploma. They, somebody is graduating <laughs> and uh, kind of growing up in a lot of ways. I mean, this person just in some ways, some ways, there's some ways it really needed strengthening. So, you know, I know I sound like I'm being really fair and helpful to this other person, but I think like there's always room for healing if a relationship can be healed. For others, this is just somebody new, like I said, who's wanting to connect you know, um, is ready for love. They've looked past, it feels like on their, their previous relationships or things that they, that didn't work out and have been strengthening those areas so they could be primed for new love and new beginnings. So yeah, there's definitely, uh, somebody here is healed, uh, you know, is really like turned around, sat with themselves and said, you know, I'm going to take accountability for some things that I've done here in that everything that's led up to why I'm on my own and why I'm single and I'm not in a long term healthy relationship. And I feel like whoever this person is, whether it's a past person or somebody new, the energy is still the same. Okay, for this person, making do on um, debts and monies that they owe as well. Okay, so that pretty much is love. I just want to take a look and see what the love uh, romance angels have to say about this love situation message here that I'm giving you. Let me see. Virgo. What is, what are the messages, romance angels messages for Virgo in regards to this love situation? Okay, children. So your love life is being affected by children. This could also be an energy of two people who are acting like children and have like uh, raised their vibrations and uh, have basically, that's another word for matured. Okay. Or there are children involved in some type of connection that has a huge effect on um, getting into a relationship, either again or a new one. What else does Virgo need to know here? Okay, they gave me two cards. Okay, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from usual type and expectations. I feel like this person, I, I do, Virgo, kind of get a sense that, you know, whoever this person is, new or past, they're definitely going to be different, okay? Um, different than what you expect or your usual type or what you were with before. And then you also have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner useful, youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, you know, Virgo, this is all about, you know, laugh, think positively. Um, don't get into criticism or judgment or anything like that. Just kind of, I don't know, go dance in the fields with the flowers and the butterflies. Try to find that happy place, Virgo, um, with other people or this person. If that's something that you, you know, you want to, if you're waiting for somebody to come back with a bloody stump, I mean, they're coming in to show you the knife with that ace of swords and um, that death card that they've cut off a part of something in them is not alive anymore and they are having new regrowth, that's for sure. All right, Virgo, let's take a look and see what your message is for um, your, just you in general, okay? Messages just for you in general, in love, all areas of your life. What does Virgo need to know? Not necessarily love, but it could be. Let's just see what comes out. What does Virgo need to know going forward in January? Okay, so mm, the world card. So it looks like you're completing some kind of goal or lesson in January, which is great. You might be traveling or immigrating somewhere. Um, there's definitely something that you've been working on. I see you finishing this thing in uh, January, whatever it is. There might be a deadline. It's there's This is a card of accomplishment. So I do feel like, um, you know, a goal that you've had set for yourself, maybe you set something in the new year and your end goal date, you're doing it in increments and the end of January was going to be your, um, you know, your increment date, your milestone. I feel like you're going to accomplish that and move on to the next level, definitely. Um, so whatever that goal is that you've set for yourself, you definitely are moving on to the next chapter, the next level in January. Okay. It, for some of you, it could be around the 21st of January. So, I mean, that's next week, right? I think. Um, no, it's the end of the week, the end of this week. Okay. Some of you, um, 
might be going back to school, or there's just an energy here of learning some new skills, okay? And also, um, maybe seeking mentorship for something in your life or uh, seeking another person to kind of just lead the way for you with the Three of Pentacles. Um, there's a lot of teamwork and collaboration. I feel like people are going to be on board and are going to be willing to work with you or a person in particular um, is willing to work with you. Okay, there's definitely a shift and a change and a new start because the world is the last card in the tarot deck and then we start all over again with the fool which is like a like a new beginning okay so i do feel like there will be a person or people who are going to be supporting you and guiding you along the way in this new year as well um let me see this is either you're learning or you're teaching okay so now you have again <laughs> you have um justice here so i feel like this is a little bit of um hmm. you know what virgo there's definitely some truth going to come out here you're going to get some realization i see some truths about some things like hardcore truth is big time clarity because the justice card you know she holds the sword so, you know, that's like the Ace of Swords. And I did see you were going to get some truth and clarity. You're definitely going, but it's going to be fair and balanced. So I feel like there's doing away with black and white energy or black and white thinking. This is going to be more or less like, okay, well, yeah, there is a little bit of black in here. And then there's also a little bit of white in here. So it's like there's a little bit, it's not all bad. It's not all good. It's reasonable, fair, and well balanced. Okay. Um, as far as, Virgo, you know, like your ability to um, have a cause and effect. I feel like you've got a win-win solution here when you get rid of black and white thinking. Um, it's a win-win when you're able to consider much like a judge, all sides of the argument, um, everything that's brought to the table so that you can um, give yourself or receive a fair verdict. You know, I, I just feel like f uh, they're saying all's fair in love and war. So <laughs> something going on here with that. And it could even be for some of you, any kind of legal disputes or if there's a divorce or a legal marriage or anything connected to that, I feel like there will be a fair outcome for both. And I feel like it'll be a win-win situation. Okay, so I like that. Um, I also see you getting very excited for some type of... Um, opportunity or idea that you have going on in your your um, creative space in January I feel like um, yeah a lot of enthusiasm for you happening I feel like you're trying to get active on a new project or you will be or you have this new creative idea and you might be talking to other people about this in um, January communicating lots of communication of your your ideas happening here and i feel like um there's a there's a potential for a huge amount of growth you see growth at least in something that you want to get off the ground or it could be a startup or anything that you um have been thinking about um improving in your life or just increasing your abundance um but this feels mostly along the lines of like a creative idea to get you from um the next to get you to the next level so i feel like there might be a lot of communication about that with other people which is really going to pan out well for you okay so yeah now you have the page of pentacles so there's a lot connected as well to this energy where um it can involve finances it can involve um a new job or a raise or um, something to bring in more money. So I feel like that energy is definitely, you know, it, I feel like you're, uh, oh my gosh, you're kidding. You also have the page of cups. So you have three pages in a row. My gosh. Um, all right. This is on like all levels. This is your creative. This is your finances work. And this is also love. Um, I feel like Virgo, you have like all these fantastic new ideas and there's a lot of communication. Um, there can be a apology as well from somebody or you giving one and this is about you so there's uh, I mean I just can't believe how those three pages flipped out like that um hold on I want to just 
I feel like um, whatever you're thinking about, there will be things you're manifesting that are coming to fruition. But I, I feel like with these three pages, threes represent um, harmony, union, communication, enthusiasm, the birthing of something new, trinity, advancement. But the page energy is like there's real no timing connected to this. It's either that or this thing, well, whatever you're trying to manifest or do is going to start happening before you're even ready. It might even be happening now. Okay, um, some of you will just be getting these like downloads and getting clarity and it's like, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, right, oh, right. Yeah, I can do that. And it just comes out of the blue. It's kind of like a little zinger that just hits you. So I love it. I love that energy for you. Okay, well, you've got the four of <laughs> swords in the reverse, Virgo. So once this stuff starts hitting you, you're going to get crazy restless. Okay, um, it's like I am done my healing. I am um, like burnout. I'm ready to act. Like once this stuff starts hitting you, these are almost like ideas that come like, like little light bulbs, you know. And um, once they come, you know, in your love life, your career, your creative sector, or the areas where you are physically active, I mean, it's like you just you're ready to go. That you're not waiting like you are burned out from the last level you were on and you recharged your energy and you know you got yourself like you okay lesson learned let me go on to the next level whatever that is it could be like a you know taking another semester in school and you're ready to go it's just anything wow there's the ace of swords again that's what i'm saying and that is the gigantic light bulb <laughs> like so much clarity crystal clear vision um I mean, there's just so much happening here in all areas. And I feel like you're going to know what to do and what steps to take. As if you're not already there now, um, it's going to come to you at least by the end of um, this month. And I feel like that is in, you know, the only area it's not showing up in is... Uh, the page of swords and I feel like that's really great because the page of swords energy um, generally refers to like curiosity gossip prying eyes um, you're bypassing all that I feel like you've already done all of your legwork all of your discovery work um, I feel like you've talked to as many people as you can I feel like you've checked things out you understood you've come to conclusions about things in your life and you've seen all you need to see and now you're just running with like okay you got the truth and now you can start moving forward whatever area all in all those areas in your life okay let me just get one more card <laughs> okay lovely so you're ending with the ten of pentacles so this is brilliant this is definitely virgo whatever you're doing in your life right now like or whatever thoughts you're having even as you're listening to this reading whatever you're trying to implement the path that you're on you are right where you're supposed to be right now and i think that that is some assurance you need to give yourself because that you know the ten of pentacles is like complete stability safety security structure um whether this is in business, finance, uh, marriage, um, having that long-term security. This is like um, everything brick by brick. You see all these bricks here that were laid to create that building? It's like all the bricks that were thrown at you in your life, Virgo. I think you took every one of those and you just began building your castles your or your castle. And brick after brick after brick, like this outcome may not be at the end of the month but it just feels like you're on your path keep putting those bricks keep layering in your life keep adding to keep doing what you're doing you know consistency like when you're building a castle like rome wasn't built in a day and i just feel like that's a strong message that you need to remind yourself to not get discouraged to keep moving forward brick by brick a little bit each day i feel like you're definitely going to end up where um your wishes are okay yes let me get um i'm going to get a message of love here for you Let's see what the messages are here for you Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Somebody told me the other day they wanted to see me shuffling in um, the video. I don't know if you can hear it. Hopefully that's enough, but hey, there you go. Um, 
Okay, so put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. And that just feels like, okay, you know, Virgo, um, in between every brick, there's a layer of mortar. And I feel like that mortar needs to be that time period in between your layering is when you need to like get your recharge your energy put away that computer strengthen not only your relationship with a partner or with family or friends but also with yourself and with the supernatural okay um because the computer while it does have many good facets to it and it might be something that you're using to build your rebuild your life or build your life you also have to understand that too much computer time can be a distraction from your goals or um, can burn you out and you got to take those little mortar breaks <laughs> um let me see what else is coming up here for you okay warning don't dismiss red flags okay i don't feel like you will I feel like you might be afraid that you're not strong or competent enough going forward, either in a relationship or with a past thing or just any area of your life. Um, there might be a fear that you're going to miss red flags, but I don't really, I feel like that's just a little irrational based on everything you've been through. I feel like that's a confidence thing. Um, I feel like as you move forward and you keep layering, you won't miss the red flags i feel like you miss them if you try to build your castle in a day um, i feel like if you do that you're going to make huge mistakes and i feel like for you it's best to just pace yourself and take your time slow it down right don't rush into any relationships don't rush into what you're trying to build um, it's quality over quantity right so i feel like that's the strongest warning here for you um Okay, you've got someone here who's like crazy, um, gripped by obsessive thoughts of you. Okay, huh. Well, for some of you, yeah, that's a message. For others, there is something here where you might find yourself gripped by obsessive thoughts of what you're trying to accomplish here in your life, whether it's a person, place, or a thing, or your goals. Um, I don't know if that, they're not telling you what to do about that, but... Um, I don't think obsession can be horrible if you're like obsessed with trying to get your health in, in, in a better place or if you're obsessed with, you know, getting, as long as you, if you're obsessed with healthy things, I don't really feel like that's a bad thing. <laughs> if you're obsessed with eating um, yogurt and um, eating well, if you're obsessed with exercise, and you, but it's more of a passion. I think passion and obsession can tend to look similar. Ex the problem, well, the difference is that passion is um, short term, where obsessions can be long term. Um, so I don't know. I think maybe you might need to look at. Um, are you obsessing over the right things, Virgo, or are you obsessing over unhealthy things? That might be something that you need discernment with, okay? Let me see also. Okay, so you do have stability. A relationship can stand the test of time. Um, stability in self, relationship with self, with God, with the supernatural, with family, friends, a love relationship, you know, but that all comes back to you, right? A relationship can stand the test of time with stability if you're bringing stability to the relationship and the other person is also bringing it, okay? Um, you could be bringing stability to a relationship and somebody is not and they're being inconsistent. Well, yeah, the relationship could last, but for how long, right? Um, this feels like a healthy this healthy relationship can stand the test of time. Anything less than that, no, no good. What else do you need to know? Okay, patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Hold on one second. Okay, my grandson was crying a little there. Okay, so yeah, it's all about your patience, Virgo. Everything, um, just give it to God. Everything happens in divine timing. What's meant for you will never pass you by. What isn't will, okay? So try not to stress over the things you don't have and be grateful for the things you do have. Um, let me get a, I felt like, let me see. All right, let me try and see if I can get some names or other messages for you. Okay, a couple cards fell out. Um, okay. Mm. All right, 
What am I picking up here? Okay, I just heard Will, William, and I heard Ted or, or Theodore. I don't know. Alvin and the Chipmunks, Theodore. Do I sound like Alvin again? Sorry. <laughs> Theodore, maybe. <laughs> um, okay, let me see. What else am I getting here for you, Virgo? Um, oh, let's see. Oh, okay. So I'm just seeing... Um, what is that called? Uh, they're just telling me when I'm looking at this card. You know how... Uh, I don't know what it's called. Where people stack those stones... I don't know if that's some kind of like um, meditation ritual or somebody takes a rake and, and does something with sand. Yeah, uh, I know these these here are not names, but um, there's something to do with like some kind of Zen. It feels like a Zen practice. Somebody does something with Zen practice. This is Zen, Zen work. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> so we have the initial H, we have an A, we have a K, we have the letter N, we have an, the, the letter S, all right, um, they're giving me an R right now, um, Rachel, I just heard Rachel, and they're giving me... Oh, the letter O and also a B. Okay, letter O and a B. Okay, let me see. Huh, somebody does something with flowers. Real big flower buff. Um, somebody's name is Lillian, they just said. Lillian or Lee. All right. Um, oh, okay. Somebody is Arabic or speaks Arabic. Okay. Arabic or speak, uh, Middle Eastern or speaks Arabic or from um, an Arabic country. I'm just hearing. And, okay, yeah, the letter C. And I'm also, okay, that's weird. I'm seeing a bear trap, like bear traps. I've never seen a bear trap in my life, except maybe on TV, but they're just giving me this image of a, a bear trap um, that's broken or somebody's trying to set up a bear trap or do something. I don't even know where you put bear traps. Like, do people catch bears? I don't even know. Hold on. This here for you. Sorry if it was short. I know they've been short, but I'll be back here tomorrow to give you another reading. So make sure you tick the notification bell and um, turn your alerts on. You guys, thanks for being here in the chat. I'm just going to leave your reading there and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook. The link is in the description box below. All right, take care. Bye.